I am Alicia Watson and my friends call me Chocolate and I'll tell you why later. And I am from Dallas, Texas, specifically from West Dallas, Texas, um, but I am now a resident of South Dallas, Texas in the neighborhood of Bonton. So Redeemed Women is a 501c3 nonprofit here in the South Dallas neighborhood of Bonton. And when I say South Dallas, I'm speaking the State Fair of Texas, Fair Park area. It's a pocket community right um, about six minutes away. And it's a little small community in the neighborhood of Bonton. And Redeemed Women serves the women in this community. What sets us aside is there are uh, physically no organizations down in this neighborhood specifically serving women. That's empowerment, mentoring, life skills training, work readiness, um, all of the above. And so Redeem Women, it was established in 2017 um, to address some of the needs. And I know all too well what those needs are because I too am a redeemed woman. With that being said, I grew up in extreme generational poverty and I grew up um, in absolute abuse. I was um, molested early on. Um, I had a baby at 14 years old. I had cancer three times, bone cancer in my left leg and breast cancer um, in 2013. Um, I've seen homelessness on every level, um, grew up in the foster care system. I mean, just all of the above, um, being um, abused physically, mentally, emotionally, um, just all of the hurt. And so um, starting Redeem Women just was a heart for me to serve women that have um, escaped this same kind of generational poverty, but also that have been through some of the hurts that I've been through. And I like to say, what better person to serve the, this community than the person that understands that? I look like them, I relate to them, I'm relatable. Um, but also, um, I just share my story and I show up with a hug and a smile and just offer love and build relationships. Because the fact of the matter is, if you don't build relationships, you can't address the needs that are out there and find out the concerns. And so that's the heart and core of Redeem Women, to transform women, to lead independent lives. And we do that by addressing the spiritual, physical, and educational needs. So Redeemed Women is shaping positive um, activity in the community by being present in the community. The fact of the matter is, is I live here. How can you shape the community if you're not present in the community? Um, we provide authentic transformation and authentic Authentic transformation starts with me being the boots on the ground and just building the relationships. And once everybody knows, it's a, it's a well-known fact that once you build relationships and you empower the woman, that you will absolutely transform the lives of the women that are empowered. Because once you empower them, then they empower their children, they empower their husbands, they invest in their relationships, and they invest in themselves to want to learn and know more. The why behind Redeemed Women is simply because why not? Um, Redeemed Women is needed. Um, you need an organization that is based on uh, transformation, that is based on authentic love and relationships. Redeemed Women is the core of this neighborhood. The women, they are excited to see me. I walk the community. They know who I am. They call me by name. Hey, Miss Chocolate. Um, they're just excited to have someone that that understands their situation, that they can relate to, that, and that they can talk to and they can build trust with. Trust is overlooked in this community. Um, the hearts are so hard in here. And I'm here to help soften the hearts and to just um, provide that transformation of what it looks like to experience so much hurt and pain but still be able to smile. All of the things I, I, I list about myself, you know, the hurt, the pain, the abuse, and then I'm still smiling. And they ask, why? Why are you able to do that? How are you able to do that? And then I get to tell them about this awesome God that I serve, and he's so great, and how he's empowered me, and that's why I can empower you. 
Yes, redeemed women is always looking for help. We need all of the help that we can get. There are plenty of ways to get involved. I first like to send people to our website, and you can find out more information about us at redeemedwomen.org. There's also a section where you can book me to speak at your next corporate event or Bible study, and I can share the, the mission and the vision of the organization. We also need prayers. Please pray. Pray bold for this community. It's an underserved, overlooked community. Food desert, transportation desert, laundry mat desert, all things desert. So we need all the prayers that we can get. We also need volunteers. There's always a place for you to serve, whether you come down and volunteer or whether you serve from behind the scenes because we have a lot of jobs that are remote that we just can't afford to pay people to do right now. And then lastly, we need financial support. I love to tell people all of your giving is tax deductible. So please think about um, investing in us on our website. We have a giving category for every level of giving. Just $15 provides um, a bus pass for the week. And so um, if you are considering giving, please think about giving to Redeem Women. We absolutely need it. And you're giving locally. You can come down. You can find out where your money goes. It's tangible. Um, and it's local. It's right here in your very own backyard. So visit our website, redeemwomen.org, and tell them your girl chocolate sent you. Sure. So we have um, a plethora of, of needs. I think I'm saying that word right. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is we're a new nonprofit. We're only a little bit uh, over a year old. And so we have tons of need. We have volunteer needs. We need people to come down and sponsor our community outreach. What this is, is we have quarterly events where we get the ladies, all of the ladies in the community together, and we have a brunch, or we have a breakfast, or we have a dinner, and we just fellowship with each other. It's no, There's no script, but we need sponsorships for that. We need people to come down and help organize our toiletry supply shed. Um, and check that out. One of our church partners bought us a shed that's housed in my backyard right now. And people can order on Amazon.com and type in Redeemed Women and you'll see all of our needs. It ships directly to us. And this is um, these are items that the ladies need in the community because they get food stamps. What people don't know is food stamps is a government assistance that does not buy toiletries. They don't buy tissue and paper towels and detergent. So if you have a family of four and what do they do when they need to wash their clothes, you know? And so we help try to provide that need. Because the fact of the matter is you have to show up with something. You just can't show up empty-handed. And so we uh, have our toiletry supplies um, that you can shop on Redeemed Women, um, on Amazon, and type in Redeemed Women. Lastly, we're in our capital campaign season right now. We're raising $175,000 to help round out our year-end, annual year-end goal. Um, 95 of that will go straight towards purchasing space down here. We're filming in my home right now because I work from home. But we need a safe, secure place for the ladies to come in this community that's walking distance because we're a transportation desert and they don't have cars. Um, so we need a safe place that they can come to in this community to receive all of the resources that we're providing, all of the life skills training, discipleship, mentorship, Bible studies. We need a safe place for them to do that. But also an office space for me to do that, to be to talk to them privately and independently without having to schedule around my personal needs i'm married and my husband you know it's kind of hard and so that so what we'll do is what we're calling the space is the well if you know the story about the well, the women made at the well in the Bible. And so the well will be a safe place for the women to come in this community. So there's no office buildings down here. And if you haven't been down, I encourage you to come down to the neighborhood so you can see what I'm talking about. And let me take you on the Redeemed Women Tour around the neighborhood. Um, me and Vanna White, that's our that's our van. That's And it's, she's chaperoned by me. Um, and let me take you around the neighborhood. But... The well will buy a space here and then we'll reno and then provide security and uh, um, um, just renovation insurance and all of that. Um, but a lot of the homes are down here are being ran by slumlords and they're not the best living uh, conditions. And so you'll see that when you come down. But if you just look up Bonton, you can find out the history of this neighborhood just by Google searching it. You will find out that it's an underserved, overlooked community that's facing a lot of poverty and um, there are no resources being pumped in. And so we're just trying to be a part of the resource. 
And so we're really needing that change. So please help us make that happen. We need the well. And then you get to come down and come meet the women that we're serving and be a part of the Bible studies and things like that. So... The Redeemed Women is um, very closely related to Bontan Farms. The people down at Bontan Farms are awesome. So what pe if people don't know, Bontan is a food desert. The neighborhood of Bontan is a food desert. Bontan Farms was established to um, create jobs for the people in the community, but also address the food issue. So the good thing about our um, relationship is they send women to come down through me to maybe get the mentorship, the life skills training, address some of the needs. But then I also send women to them to purchase healthy food, to purchase, um, you know, to find out about food classes and eat healthy and learn about diabetes and health and wellness. So our relationship, we, we work intertwined together. They're good people over there and I love what they're doing. They love what I'm doing. And so the relationship is awesome. A story that I um, am really excited to share about Redeemed Women is, um, like I said, every quarter we have these quarterly events right here in my yard, right outside in the open lot. And we just set up this long table and we make it family style and everybody sits and we fellowship together. Well, our last event, we had uh, our breakfast and bingo and it was awesome. And I normally, a day before, I'll go and walk the neighborhood with some volunteers and we'll pass out flyers to let the ladies in the community all know that they're all invited. And so one of the ladies got one of my flyers and she came down with the flyer in her hand and she said, hey, I'm looking to uh, come to breakfast and bingo. Well, she came. Then she needed to go to the grocery store and her, she does have a car, but it was down at the time. So I said, Hey, you know, we can provide transportation for you. I can take you to the grocery store, which is also a great time to talk because once you're in the car with somebody, you're going to talk, you're going to have conversation. Well, with that being said, I was able to share about how we have our weekly Bible study and it's called just for us and just for us. It's all inclusive for women only, and it's for the women in this community. And so I invited this lady down to Just For Us. She came and now, and it's every Tuesday from 9 to 10 a.m. in my home, and now she comes every week. And she's been so impacted. She said her life has changed since um, learning about Redeemed Women. She gets to learn more about the Bible. Um, and we just have authentic, transformative conversation. And she says, every time I leave, I leave energized. and. Every, every week, she's the first person here. We start at 9. She's here at 845. So I'm really, really excited about that. She puts a smile on my face every time I open the door up. Oh, my gosh. What makes me celebrate at Redeem Women? I celebrate any time a life has just been changed, whether it's somebody coming to Christ, whether it's somebody that's completed a life skills training, whether it's somebody that um, that's just decided, you know what? I want to learn more about redeemed women and I want mentorship. Um, so I just celebrate all of the goodness. The one thing that I celebrated um, just not too long ago was the fact that someone wanted to um, get married. So there's a lot of uh, culture shacking, what we like to say down here in the neighborhood. You know, people been with somebody 10, 12 years and they have a thought of getting married, but they don't want to go to the courthouse and get married. So I got ordained just to meet the people's needs, not because I want to preach in the church, just because I wanted to meet the needs of my community. And so what is it look like for someone saying oh you've been dating for 15 years have you ever thought about getting married can we provide you some marriage counseling and then once we do that why don't you let me um officiate for you and a lot of times they're like oh my god i've never heard of anything like this and so um i've officiated four weddings in the community already and it is amazing and i'm so excited about that so that's the win that i would say that i would really love to celebrate well those are two a great metaphor for redeemed women is um, where friends are made and lives are changed. And where friends are made, how are friends made? By being, being in a relationship. That's it. How are lives changed? By addressing the physical, spiritual, and educational need. And the fact of the matter is, is you can't address the need until you build relationships. It's also our wonderful tagline, too. So um, we live by it. What I love most about Redeemed Women is the fact that um, I live here. I live in the neighborhood, so I get to see my neighbors and my friends all the time. 
and I get to see their kids. I get to do life with them. I get to be in a relationship. We get to have barbecues outside, and I get to be invited. They invite me over for dinner. They invite me to the sporting events. And so I love that, and I just love that, you know, God chose me to impact others, and I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful for my gift to be able to speak truth and life into um, the ladies, um, but I'm also just grateful that they get to empower me as well. It's a win-win for the both of us, and so I'm extremely excited excited about that. I would say the most unique thing about Redeem Women is um, the fact that I'm relatable. Um, I can relate to the women that I serve. Um, I've been through a lot of the same things that they've been through, and I'm transparent and open about that. And so that is what sets us aside. That's what makes us unique. Um, and the fact of the matter is people are going to open up to somebody that they can trust. They're going to open up to somebody that have relatable experiences. They're going to open up to somebody that's going to love on them without judgment. And um, I think that's what makes us unique. We just love over and over again. One of the challenges that we've had to overcome at Redeem Women is just the fact that we don't have a space. Um, the space is our most pressing need. We lacked transportation. Um, at one point, I was taking the ladies back and forth to the grocery store, to the Social Security office, to doctor's appointments, things like that, in my own personal vehicle. And I have a little small SUV, so you can only fit one person in. And so back in December, um, November, December, we had an anonymous donor donate us a brand new 12 passenger van XLT. 2017 and so we address the transportation need now we need to address the space need I the fact of the matter is I just cannot keep working out my out of my house because we've outgrown the space um, we need more space to be able to have more women involved and to be able to create our work program and um, our life skills training be able to incorporate those programs and so I would say that is one of the challenges just so we can have uh, around the clock space for them. And that's why we need the well. The well will be right here in the community. The name of the van is Banna White. So I have to tell you the story behind Banna White. <laughs> Banna White chaperone by chocolate, hashtag Will of Fortune. Um, a lot of people don't know about that old school, but I'm old school. So um, we and back in the summer, uh, we launched the Redeem Women um, Name the Van Challenge. And we launched it because we were looking to try to help get monies for um, filling up our gas tank, providing our, you know, first oil change, tire rotation, maintenance on the vehicle. Well, I thought we would do something fun, me, the board and I, excuse me. And so we put it out there to say, okay, will people give you know, $10, $5, whatever, and nominate a name. So we went for like 30 days and we went through our pool of names and we narrowed it down and Banner White was the winner. And so we were so excited about Banner White because I was like, one, this speaks to my, Banner White speaks to my character. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I thought about Banner White being chaperoned by chocolate. But then I also thought as much as I try to be inclusive on diversity, white plus black, it absolutely speaks to the character of me and the organization as well so really excited about banner white and she rose well she gets a roll on <laughs> sure i just i just like to make sure i highlight the fact that people can find out more about redeem women online visit our website redeemwomen.org you can also youtube us there are plenty of videos uh to find out more about redeem women but then also share Share what's going on locally down here in this community. We stand on awareness. We um, are only recognized through our friends getting the word out about us. And then also, I wrote a book. I don't have a copy of it in my hand, but I wrote a book, and it's called Anointed. And so I would really love for people to check out our, our book. It'll be in bookstores soon. But if you if you visit the website, you can email me to find out how you can get your copy. And so um, it's a great read. It opens up about my life, poverty, um, the neighborhood, but everything from my perspective, but things that I've been through. And so I love to get that out. There. And then also book me to speak at, at your next event and hopefully I can empower some people or educate some people. Um, either way, I'm always available. And then lastly, come down and see the neighborhood. If you do not know about Bonton, Google us, Bonton, that's it. But come down. If you know where Fair Park is, you know where South Dallas is. 
Come down and check out the neighborhood. There's no Starbucks. There's no Kroger. There's no Tom Thumb. We have one bus that comes in our neighborhood every 30 to 45 minutes. It is a three and a half hour round trip bus ride to our local grocery store that is not even worth buying anything out of. Um, but three and a half hours. So come down and find out about the neighborhood. Come down and see how we have a lot. There's a laundromat desert. What do people do when they don't have a laundromat in their homes or in the apartment complexes there? They wash their clothes on their hands and they hang them up because we don't have a laundromat down here. I have a laundry, I have a washer and dryer. And so these are the things that I like to say we take for granted sometimes. And so I am just deeply passionate about getting the word out. But then also I'm deeply passionate about sharing my story of how I overcame poverty and how I'm living a thriving life now. And then others that are impacted by my life will also be raised up as leaders from the inside out to take back their community. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to tell them that your girl chocolate sent you